Damn. Do it, narrator. Welcome, game developers, to Doug Teaches UE5 Rail Shooter uh, Remake. The reason why you're seeing all this is because I don't know how the fuck I lost the footage. I did, and I'm pissed. So we're going to be doing this again. Sorry, man. So here's how the rail shooter will be. Oh, God, I got to timestamp the lesson plans. Shit. You can always put them in the comment section. Nah, I gotta actually put that graphic in. Anyway, fuck it. Right now, let's talk about what we need to talk about. <coughs> <coughs> this, death, this lesson plan will deal with us just moving between points. You can use splines, but I'm, I'm not going to. Like, I'll use that for lesson, for the probably tutorial, like, three or four. Because the second tutorial in this series will have, a, will have two enemy types that one will shoot at us, and the other will um, just charge and melee us. So that that won't be too difficult. Then uh, the third one will be you know moving along the path when uh, uh, having a GUI reload that whole deal out of the controls. Yeah. And then the fourth when lose conditions and I buy time do the spline shit. So uh, let's get rid of all this. So what's the character? So the, ra so the character is just a rail character. It's just, it's literally a uh, camera and uh, uh, and a capsule component. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, blueprint class, I'll just do all classes, but that's just my personal take. And I'll just, uh, I'll click on character, give it some chode. And then in this chode, um, I will add some components. I will just add you can add a skeletal mesh if you want. We'll do a skeletal mesh if you want, but I'm not going to. And a fucking camera. There you go. I'll just move this in. There. That's all I did for the Joad one. Then what I did was um, I'll get this. Right? Ah. Under possess. I need to get the player controller. I'm also going to get a reference. Oh, I already have a reference, so never mind. So I'll get the player controller. Control W. And I'll just type in simple move to actor. Now, it's going to be needing a goal. <clears throat> that goal will be a target point. So, before you... Now, keep in mind, what you're seeing in the screen area is actually the nav mesh bounds. You need this in order, to, in order for the movement to work. Why? Okay, so hold on. You get rid of the nav mesh. Where's the nav mesh? Fuck you, nav mesh. Alright, nav mesh, nav mesh. Delete. So, I'll show you what I mean. Get that, get that, get a goal, get that target point, and plug it in. So, by default, in theory, this should run. I'm not moving. Ow. Why? Because we don't have a nav mesh. Really? But you're the character. Here's the thing, people. You have to understand, rail shooters are AI controlled completely, except for the shooty bits. When you're shooting, that's that's the only type of player input. Otherwise, it's completely AI controlled. This is a linear, uh, so that means you need a nav mesh bounds volume. So I'm gonna plug this in to here. <clears throat> now the reason why you're seeing that green, if you don't see it, just hit the P for Paul key, and that's the... So the green means that it's navigable. And, um... So I have to scale this out. If it's green, it's nav it's navigable. If it's not like this, then it's unnavigable. So now let's play this. Oh, hey, look at that. We're going to our point. So now, we need to go to our target... We need to go to the other target point. However, um... There's another thing that you need to be concerned with, such as, well, let's, let's get this, let's get that. See, the thing is, you can't necessarily, if you want them to go point to point to point, the, I'll show you what I mean. File, play. As you can see, I'm going to the second point, directly to the second point. Ow, oh, ow, oh, right. So... Wait, why is that happening? Long story short, <clears throat> this is all compiling, this is all running smoothly. 
thing is, it's um, our loca our updated location is being is literally being overridden by this. So what we need to do is we need to check to see if we're in a specific radius of target point one before we can go to target point two. How do we do that? Simply put, we take we get actor location, right? Uh -huh. And then we set that equal. Now there are three types of. We have not equal exactly vector, equal exactly vector, and equal. We want this equal. Why? Because while it gets both vectors, we have this little area for error tolerance, meaning we don't have to necessarily be near. We have a radius to work with. Oh, okay. So then we get this. We get this. We get actor location. We plug this in, and we can say give a good radius would be about fifty. Okay. So then we branch this out. I'm just going to hold B for Bravo to branch. Plug that in on true. We do that. But there's another problem to this. I what do you mean? I'll show you. Let's play. Hey, what the hell? What happened? See, you have to understand, event begin play only runs once, so we need to, uh, so we need this check to run continuously. Now, we don't necessarily need an event tick. There's a way to bypass this, and that is by putting in a delay, holding D for delta and putting in a delay, and you just basically keep doing that. Why don't we just put plug the false into the simple move to actor? Because then we, because then it'll be like, dude, that's an infinite loop. Don't do that. So with a delay, we have a nice little delay. So how much delay time do we want? We can do point oh two. We can do point two. I'm gonna put point oh two, so that way it's not as noticeable. So we compile and we play. Look at that. Oh shit. Yeah. So that's automatically fixed. Now what we need to do is we need to basically we need to copy all this. We need to copy this. Yes. So we copy this. We control W to duplicate. And we plug this in. Plug this into that. Uh, we plug that. We plug this into you, so that way we can keep we can keep moving forward. Right, because now we need this thing. Yes, and we need to actually have a timeline and update to ro and update the rotation. All right. So we get a reference. Come on, right click. Thank you. So we copy this. Put the goal here. Let's grab all this on true. Do that. But now we want to make sure we rotate when we get there. Right. So that means we need to copy this whole bit. Right. Pretty much. So then we on complete. Do that. Plug this into the branch. You go to target point three, and then on true, we add timeline. So this timeline will have a float track. I'm gonna make sure that it's that. I'll just put one second. Uh, I'll shift click here, shift click here, click on this, zero zero. And click on this. Wait, uh, at one and ninety. So I'll horizontal and uh, vertical. So what I'll do is I'll grab you. I'll hold down shift, grab this, and then hit one, so I can kind of curve it out. All right, right there should do it. Oh man, I need to fart. Oh, nice inspiration for the children, Doug. Fuck you. Now, <clears throat> this is very important. On update, you want to get actor rotation, right? Uh -huh. Split this struct pin. You want to set actor rotation. Rotation. Uh -huh. Update, this gets plugged into here. Right. However, I want to add these two. 
Okay, why? Why is this so important? You'll see what I mean. Now, this will update, but you'd think like, oh, unfinished, we just set the actor rotation. No, you don't. Not unfinished. Unfinished, listen very carefully. Unfinished, you wanna get to player controller. Drag this out, get, uh, uh, type in rotation. Rotation. You wanna set control rotation. The new rotation that you wanna set it to. We can hard code this, but like seeing as how I think I have it rotated 90 degrees, yeah, I had it rotated 90 degrees just, just because. I'm gonna get a reference to this. I'm gonna get rotate, I'm gonna get actor rotation. And then plug this into there. Plug this into finished. Because if you don't set the control rotation, your character will, after this, after this is finished, will just rotate back to its original rotation, which is that. Serious? Yeah. Why? Because we need to tell it. We need to tell the compiler, hey, we can't get this actor's controller. In, in our case, it's the player controller. Fucking kidding me? Yep. No. No. All right. Okay. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna alt click out of play and just go from true to play from start. So that way, it starts. It plays the start of every time the this uh, uh, timeline is active. So let's play this. One, two, and then we're here. There we go. Oh, there you go. Sweet. So, what is this done? It's, it's done and over with for now. Okay. In the next tutorial, we will actually handle shooting, and we will have two things of AI attack us. Uh, so, other than that, so what is that it? I mean, are we uh, not going to have? So, is, are we just going to work with this left with this part of the stage? Yeah, I mean, like I'll expand it, I'll delete this wall, and do other shit. But other than that, uh, end it here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next. What the hell? What? It's a post process volume. Oh, right. Tune in next time for Doug and Cap Duck and Captain K play. Doug teaches Unreal Engine Five. Yeah.